Hey everybody, I'm Axel Gray, back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content creator by using the links on screen and in the description below. If you'd like to support our channel, use the info at the end of this video to like, comment, subscribe, follow, join our Discord, or become a patron at patreon.com slash 3D. Thanks for listening to my boring spiel, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axe Grave, and I'm back with more reactions with an X, this time going into the season finale, at least as far as I understand it, for Jujutsu Kaisen. This is episode 24, Accomplices. Uh, it's been a great lead-up. The last couple episodes really nice character development, as well as a decent little plot to keep moving forward with the story of the fingers. Uh, I'm enjoying it. The new, the new characters are also very interesting. The people they're introducing, the mechanics they're introducing, who are feeding cursed objects to people, uh, as as well as, you know, the whole uh, special grade, like them being like a, a transformative stage and then going special. It reminds me a lot of D. Gray Man, for those who haven't watched that. It's an excellent, excellent manga <coughs> that if it ever would finish might actually, you know, go down in the history books. But it, it won't finish for whatever reason. But it was good. I, I actually want to go back and read D. Gray Man again. That's how good it is. Uh, anyway, enough talking about that. We're here for Jujutsu Kaisen, which I can't wait to read either because I, I haven't read any yet. I've I've been very, very purposeful not to read the manga before I watch these episodes so I know how that's going. I'm going to be doing the same thing with our patron exclusive reactions for Invincible. So I, I've read like maybe like the first chapter of Invincible. I know the premise because of it being around for a long time and me being in the comic book community. But otherwise, uh, yeah, it's it's basically all new to me as well. So... You know, uh, hopefully we can all have a great time and see how it all goes. You know, I, I don't know. I, that's how I feel about it. Let's let's do it. Uh, as always, remember, support the original content creator. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen is a great, great show so far. And you should check it out on Crunchyroll. Probably check out the manga as well, wherever it's published. And if you enjoy watching with us, you know, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Any of those things would help out. You know, please. <laughs> please. Uh, so let's get going. Okay, he's got drippy blood wings of poison. We did know the poison thing. Don't let the blood touch you, Kugisaki. Damn. That's that's good writing there for his character. Hey, he's fast as shit. Damn, those things go far. Ooh. Caustic? Ooh, those are like piercing. Oh no, I guess not. Oh, that's not that bad. Though it will hurt like a... Alright, yeah, that makes sense. <coughs> Thank God they put that in. A lot of people, like, don't address that. Like, why would the, uh villain give away but they've gotten put in a real good reason where's the third one again well that's my answer there he is that's gonna be more important later right I like his design, though. To the target's main body. Ugh! <laughs> 
I'm glad they explained that. Not that guy. Ah, uh, there we go. I, for, I, I guess they had probably mentioned that before. That's good writing. But he's going to care more about his brothers. Oh, no. There he goes. That's good character writing. Then aren't they just going to kill you anyway? See, so why? It must take time for him to activate the Crimson Wings because he hasn't activated yet. That's good writing, though, for them. Yeah, he needed a little time to activate it. A activated it. He needed a little time to activate it. Yeah, he should have just left it. Once again, it made sense in a sense, but it... <laughs> nah. Explodes. It explodes. Oh, no, it just goes farther through. Until the third brother shows up and beats their ass, right? That's what I'm guessing that they're holding him for. Okay, so he's not... No, he's got to be fast enough to catch up to a car, I was going to say. There you go. That's a better use. That's a better writing than having the better the other brother write it, show up. I enjoy these. Granted, they've used it twice now, so they're going to have to find a new thing. He's going to hit your arm. Yeah, he doesn't get away. Explode! So where's the third brother, then, if they were all supposed to be responsible for each other? Or was he just, like, bullshitting? I like that. This is good. I like this.
I was gonna say they didn't bury him. It's not leftovers. I think Sakuna's probably gonna make him eat it, right? That was a little. <laughs> Is he just winging it? You just realized this. There we go. <laughs> Don't underestimate. Oh, he's telling him. What a dick. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Sakuna is the real threat, and we still haven't gotten his threat. Like, we know his kind of level. That's good. I was worried it wasn't going to wrap up, but it's wrapping it up well. But, panda, but, mustard leaf. And my brother, I, I can't, Toto is easily my favorite character. Uh, he had to pay May to do it. Okay, I was wondering why the payment, but that's cool. That's cool. That's exactly kind of the the wrap up we wanted. I'm sure he just told him. Oh no, he's gonna tell him. Okay, it's a party, right? They, they secret. He's making it look like a mission, but it's a party for them. In a way. It says it all the time. I like these characters. They're definitely developing further. I want more from, uh, obviously, Yuji and Maki, not Maki, uh, Kugasaki. Because we got a little bit of Kugasaki, but I felt like it was very, like, distant. All right. Oh, wow, this one didn't have a Juju stroll. All right, well, that was the end of episode 24, Accomplices. And overall, I'm enjoying it. I will say... That uh, until that last section where they're kind of like bringing it all together with um, the talking, I didn't feel like this was as impressive as some of the other parts of the season, not as climactic, but it does set up a lot to go along in the next season, obviously, with them being first first grade or first rank, whatever. And I'm hoping next season we get more Sukuna or some bigger threats because... That's my only issue right now of anything in the series, really, is that I feel like the threat level does not always push the boundaries like I wanted to. I like my villains to be threatening, threatening. And these guys are deadly and killers. And uh, But the, to the main heroes, right, they've even said themselves, like, we're not going to fuck with Gojo. We're not, you know, unless we have Sukuna on our side, we're not touching that. And even Gojo is pretty confident that he can fight Sukuna, at least, maybe, maybe even win. And I wouldn't doubt it with the level of power. Now, obviously, in the terms of story writing, they'd have to do some stuff. And he does seem to like to take different directions. And I love that. One of the best parts of this episode was the direct direction change from the escape. Because they'd already used the escape route. And it's not to say you can't reuse them, but if you use them too many times, they get bland. And this time they did the escape route and then cut it, which was great. Using Kugasaki as the pre... They, you know, they'd already established that many, many, many episodes ago. And so it was all right there. It was all written very well to be done. Um, I will say once again, the threat level is always a big thing for me in that these guys seemed threatening, but let's say I let's say you took out Kugasaki's thing. I don't see a reason why Yuji couldn't have just beat the shit out of both of them by himself. 
it didn't seem like he would either of them were even close to on his level of power. He was blowing him apart in one or two hits. Um, and obviously some of those were the knocking to keep him there, but uh, their preface of like not being able to move, that was not the case with Yuji. He was totally able to overpower that because of Sukuna's thing, which was the other one was like decomposition versus poison, but it's magic. So I'm just going to let go of the logic on it because it's magic. <laughs> you know what I mean? This questioning it too much is just going to fuck it up. Uh, but it felt like even without Kukusaki there, you probably could have popped him each two or three times <laughs> and they would have been dead. Um, but not necessarily. You know, that's just kind of how I felt after seeing him, seeing the combat put through, seeing these guys fighting. Uh, it didn't seem like, once again, that the level of the threat was super high. Like, the biggest threat being that they got hit off guard, right? That was the other thing. They both got caught off guard, which was the only reason they were in trouble in the first place, right? Like, yeah, they ran away from the blood to get away from his wing thing at first, but both of them got tagged by surprise. So that's where the real danger of the situation even came in the first place. So with that tagging by surprise really not affecting Yuji in the heaviest, I felt like it was that was something he probably could have rocked off on his own. Having said that, it was awesome to see Kugasaki's like abilities like more fleshed out. Like I said, that was one of my favorite parts of this, is seeing her push through, see her personality, the way she's different from uh, Itadori and... Fuck, what is it? Fushiguro? I, I can never remember everybody's name. But it was a good season finale. I really enjoyed watching this so far. It's going to kill me to wait, but maybe I'll just read the manga up to this point in the, in the interim. So, you know, not go ahead but just catch up. It's going to be really difficult though. I have, I binge, I'm a binger when by nature. So I like to sit and watch a lot, read a lot and then move to something else. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, as always, you know, we, uh, we try to do our best and, uh, sometimes it doesn't work out, but I'm hoping these episodes are coming out. All right. I hope you guys are enjoying watching them. Let me know what you think. What did you think of the fights and the character development from the season? Do you think, that we're going to see a lot more next season. What do you think we're going to see next season? And what was your favorite part of this season? Just let me know. Uh, as always, remember to support the original content creator. They do great work. And we always want to give them their props and their dues. Uh, with that said, I think that's pretty much it for me. Remember, support the original content creator one last time. And if you liked us, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll catch you next time on Reactions with the next Jujutsu Kaisen. Have a good one, guys. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you'd sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave, and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next.